What's happening YouTube? Back in the day gamer here. Thanks for tuning into my channel and today I'm coming at you with a very special video. It's my first ever collaboration. That's right, we got some buddies here on the channel today to help us out. The subject of this video is top three most annoying NES enemies. Looking at you know around 700 games, this video shouldn't be too hard to make, but let's see what everybody chose. The first guest we've got on the channel today is our newest of friends, Do You Nerd? So let's jump over and see what their top three picks are. Hey nerdlings. Hello nerdlings. So uh, we were invited by Captain Algebra and Back in the Day Gamer to talk about our top three most annoying NES enemies. And I can say one of the first ones that come to my mind are the metal slimes in the <laughs> Dragon Warrior Dragon Quest games. There's nothing like when you come across these guys and they've got so much XP and experience and, and everything and you just, you just want to kill them. And they've got like two or three hit points and you miss. Like every time. Every time you attack, you miss. It's a constant miss. And then you hit them once. You hit them twice. You think you're going to get them again, but you miss. But you're still, you're still psyched and he runs away. <sighs> There's like no payoff. <laughs> they just drive you insane. So, as cute as the slimes are, metal slimes. Totally annoying. Is that when you'd rage quit and just hit the off button? I, I would hold the reset button and then <laughs> press the power so I would not lose my save. <laughs> what about you? What's one of your annoying NES enemies? My most annoying NES enemies is Octorox. Octorox! Octorox! From the Zelda games. From the huh? Zelda games. They irritate the crap out of me. <laughs> Even now! In the new Breath of the Wild game, they still <laughs> irritate the crap out of me. They have not gotten any better. <laughs> I I guess it's just I don't have the reflexes to block those stupid little rock things they spit at me. It never fails. I just... Even on the original, they can yeah. be annoying at times yeah. because you think you're doing fine and then bam, rock out of nowhere, yeah. crushes Link in the yeah, head. Yeah, and you don't even have the time. You can't even see it because you're too busy fighting all these guys in front of your face and then bam. And it would be inevitable to be my last hit and then kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think my number one most annoying NES enemy of all time, the Hammer Brothers. Oh my gosh, yes. From the original Super Mario yeah. Brothers. It's not and that they later were games, hard to beat. Later games, they weren't so bad. Yeah. And yeah, they're not that hard to beat. Funny thing is, to this day, I cannot tell you how many times I've played all the way through mm -hmm. Super Mario Brothers and beat the game. But every time I come across those guys, they make me so nervous. I mean, I just freeze up. It's like, I, I don't know what to do. They Everything just, that I know about Mario goes out the window. They throw hammer so fast, it doesn't feel like there's a pattern. But, you know, so it's just like, it feels like they're just randomly throwing them and you're just going to get a concussion or something. They're, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's definitely our top three yes. most annoying NES enemies. And uh, hopefully you guys don't rage quit when you come across any of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. So those are definitely three good choices. Thanks a lot, Tom and Lacey. I think my most annoying pick out of those three are the metal slimes. Because when you run into one, you think like, yeah, right, I'm getting lucky. I'm going to get all that experience points. You know, you're hacking and slashing. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You got almost all their hit points worn down. You're waiting for that last hit. And then they run away and you get nothing. Very annoying. <laughs> so next up for this collaboration is Brothers Forge Gaming, longtime friend of the channel. Let's jump over and see what their picks are. A first Kung Fu on the NES. Five levels of Kung Fu action. Never ending bad guys. You gotta take them out, go for the high score. Now this game obviously has its share of hard and difficult and annoying enemies, but right here guys we have the knife guy, or Daniel san as some people might call him. He's not that bad, but slightly annoying. And up next, guys, we got Gauntlet on the Nintendo Entertainment System. If you guys aren't familiar with this game, it is just your standard dungeon crawl, top-down, badass, awesome multiplayer game. But right there, guys, I was so excited to get that chest. And guess who popped out to surprise me? Good old Death. And as you know, you can only get rid of him with a potion. All right, guys, and right here we have the number one game with the most annoying enemy of all time for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm going to give it a little room here and let you guys' imagination run wild as to which of these bad guys 
I deem the most annoying. Now, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people say those rub guys are the most annoying. In the second quest of Zelda, there are blue and red ones, one which permanently doesn't let you use your weapon unless you find the other rub guy. But here it comes, guys. It's down to the wire, and we've got the Waffle Eater. Most people call it like like. I call it a Waffle Eater because it looks like a waffle, and it eats you. <laughs> and it, oh, come on! It eats your shield? Really? Man, I can't tell you how mad I was about that, guys. And look right here. Without that big shield, you're a goner. I definitely agree with you on the like-likes there. I hate them things. You know, they show up in the sixth level. There's tons of wizards. That's where the game really starts to ramp up in difficulty. You need that shield to deflect the wizard attacks. And then one of the like-like, or the waffle munchers, grabs you, steals your damn shield. You have no choice but to exit the level and go buy another one. Very annoying indeed. So... Last guest on the channel today is our long, long time friend, Captain Algebra. Let's see what his top three most annoying picks are. Hey everybody, Captain Algebra here, and welcome to my top three annoying NES enemies. First of all, I'd like to thank Back in the Day Gamer for asking me to collaborate on this video. Thought it was a great idea, so let's get into my list. Uh, for number three, of course, I had to have a Star Wars enemy on it because I love Star Wars, and that's this guy from Star Wars. So the first annoying thing about this guy, he's not even listed as an enemy. All the other Tatooine cave enemies are there except him. So here you go, you're running along, almost full health, and boom, dead. I had over three quarters of my health bar. And then not only does he, does he do that, he shoots out those projectiles, which are very difficult to avoid. And a lot of times, he's guarding one-ups. So I used to just pray that once I got to him, I could shoot him before he shot those out. But then eventually I got older and wiser and realized you can find Ben Kenobi in the uh, caves and get a lightsaber, which makes these guys a whole lot easier. You just cut through them like a hot knife through butter. But I still hate them. Jerk. Number two, the liposuction from level six of Super C. So there's nothing worse than playing Super C, my favorite game of all time, and then getting to this spot in level six with my spread gun and losing it. Doing that no death run, it just sucks, especially since right after them is this set of enemies, with, when you don't have the spread gun, it makes it a lot more difficult. Even with the fire that blew some of them up, I still didn't do a very well, good job. I mean, granted it wasn't my best effort, but still, the spread gun would have made it easy. And another thing that sucks about these guys, they almost always seem to pop out right out from under you, without even a warning. But luckily, sometimes you do get that spread gun and just get right through them, even though you almost get hit a couple times. You can see right here, I need to stop for just a second, and it almost gets me. Pretty sure if I didn't stop moving, or start moving right at that moment, he would have got me. And number one, the most annoying enemy on the NES to me is the bees from Back to the Future. So the bees really aren't that annoying at first. They might circle around you once or twice, but once they're off screen, they're gone. They don't come back. Middle of the game, they're a little bit tougher. There's more of them. They move a little faster, but still, they aren't that bad. But then, you hit the end of the game, and look at these suckers. They just circle around you three, four times. And not only that, if it's only on the first couple turns, if it goes off screen, it's coming right back at you. And there are more and more bees the entire time. It is so annoying. And if you get hit and get knocked over, they even hover over your body. Luckily, everything disappears when you wake when you get back up. And not only that, their turning radius is ridiculous now. Watch this guy. He starts moving left and immediately starts turning right. How am I supposed to react to that? He came up right in front of me. And when you get to the end of this game, you know that if you get hit a couple times, you can't make it through the level unless you get the skateboard, which makes it even tougher. So then you run out of time and you can't save your family. So there you go, there's my top three annoying NES enemies. Yeah, there are a lot of other annoying ones, but these three always bothered me when I played these games growing up. So thanks for watching. Till next time, this is Captain Algebra, signing off. I definitely agree with you there. I'm a big fan of the Back to the Future game. I don't care how much other people hate it. But I really hate those bees. They are super annoying. He nailed that one. Well, that was a pretty good collaboration. I want to thank you guys for being on the channel. And uh, let's wrap it up. We'll see you next time. 
Thought I was gonna end this video without putting my two cents in? Oh no, 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 no. Back in the day, gamers. Top, most annoying NES enemy. Out of all the games on the shelves, it's from one of my original Nintendo titles. I've had it since way back in the day. And that's a little game called Kid Icarus. The most annoying enemy for back in the day gamer is the Eggplant Wizard. So you might be saying, back in the day gamer, Eggplant Wizards aren't really that annoying. They're kind of weak. You don't really see them that much. All right, hear me out. You're making your way through the mazes, which I don't care for as much as the platforming boards. You pop into the room. You're not expecting it. All of a sudden, you get popped with an eggplant by one of them damn wizards. Now you're an eggplant too. You got two choices. Just die or back out of the room, run your way through the maze. Hopefully you can get to the hospital and have the nurse heal you since you have no weapon. Your only choice is to run and jump. Sometimes it's inevitable you die. But if you're fortunate enough to make it to the nurse, doesn't cost anything, she heals you, you're on your way. So then you gotta find your way back through the whole maze, back to where you were. So you're not really paying attention, you come upon the room, get in it, and all of a sudden, bam! You get hit with the damn eggplant again by the same wizard in the same room. You weren't paying attention, you didn't know, you had so many rooms to go through, in and out, so now you gotta go back, find your way to the damn hospital, have the nurse heal you. So you finally make your way back to the hospital again and get healed by the nurse, which wasn't so hard because now you've been there three times. So you backtrack all the way back through the maze, up, down, left, right. Obviously you need to pay attention because if you're back in the day gamer, you don't Google things or use maps unless they existed back in the day and the internet didn't. So you make your way through all the rooms. You know, you're coming back to where you were before. You kind of lost your bearings because you've been going up, down, left, right so much. So you're back to the same room again. What happens? You get popped with another eggplant because you forgot that that was the same room that you got popped two other times before. So now it's rage quit time. Game over. Can't take it. Smash the controller. And that is why the eggplant wizards are back in the day's number one most annoying NES enemy. Yeah. I don't want to get AVGN on you, but I have serious anger issues that probably stem back from the original Nintendo games that I got. Such as this one. And that's not a character. That's the truth. I want to thank you guys for watching. I really want to thank my guests for joining in on this. Sorry it took me so long to get the video out, but I had to wait for eggplants to be in season. So like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and until next time, keep it retro.